The 13th variation is a great opportunity to really focus in on string crossings and the clockwise and anti-clockwise motions that we make when we go from a lower string to a higher string and vice versa. So with this variation, if we look at the option starting with the up bow at the frog, then we're basically going lower string up bow to higher string down bow. And from the player's perspective, it basically looks like a clockwise motion. And if we reverse it, starting with the down bow on the lower string, then of course we have the opposite motion, an anti-clockwise motion. So being aware of that is definitely valuable. Also pay attention to the wrist being fairly much on a plane, it doesn't, doesn't go up and down the wrist itself, it's more the fingers and the hand that dips, dips down. So that's something that's important to be aware of. Uh, with this one also, it's spiccato. I recommend practice it uh, more connected, more really trying to get that smooth circular motion. So we practice it slowly like that.